Howdy folks, today I'm going to talk about using the F word in historical fiction. More importantly, do I use it in my writing of historical fiction or period westerns? Fuck no, it's a horrible word. Nowadays, and I think for a few decades, mankind has been using it Every second word, hell, is even inside some words. Absolutely, it's just it's just a horrible word. There is no definitive proof that I have ever seen out there on when exactly that word came into being, when it came into use. Um, you can do research, like I've mentioned before, my other videos about contractions. You can look up uh, historical letters and things like that, historical documents. Of course, you're not gonna see that word in there. Even if they did use it, you wouldn't see it in there. So it's very difficult to know when that word came about. I asked uh, a coworker of mine uh, years ago, he was older at the time, I was, just a, I was just a punk kid, about 25, 26 years old. And I asked this guy, he was about 60 or 70 at the time, so this was going back to, you know, mid-80s, I guess. And I asked him about it. I, I said, did you use that word when you were a kid? Do you, do you recall using that, the F word when you were a kid? And he said, yes, he did. Uh, but it only kind of came about that he can remember or could remember when he was maybe a, a teenager, like in the 30s, uh, he was certain that it was probably starting to be quite prevalent. It was starting to be used quite prevalent that he could remember when he was a teenager in the 30s. But before that, uh, as a young kid growing up uh, with older kids, older uh, siblings that he had, he did not recall anybody using that word. And I've, I've, I've read research that it comes from uh, fornication under carnal knowledge. And I think it was basically coined, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in the UK and in the uh, British areas over there from uh, English prostitutes is where it kind of came from. I'm, I'm not 100% sure of that. Again, I've, I've, I've read so much about this, trying to find out uh, when it was uh, where and when it uh, originated from. It's very difficult. Uh, it's really difficult. So I, myself, I, I just don't, I don't like the word. I don't think it's right in Westerns. Uh, one of my favorite Westerns was Appaloosa. That movie with Ed Harris and Viggo Mortensen was without a doubt uh, 9.999 on a scale of 1 to 10 for me. The only thing that didn't make it a 10 was the use of that word two or three times in it. It's just not necessary. Uh, there could have been other terms uh, used for it, you know, like poke is an excellent one. Lonesome Dove, that was famous for coining that phrase, and that, that was, I think, uh, used. Uh, ball, even, you know, uh, did you ball her? You know, it's, it's I, I know this is a, this is a, a difficult thing to, to do a video about, but it's important because it will either make your Western, especially if you're doing period Westerns, it'll make it more authentic if you don't use it, I believe, than it would if you do use it. Now, the, the new movie coming out and the series Deadwood, I mean, my God, every second word was F this and F that and everything else you can possibly imagine. Uh, it just didn't sit well with me. I, I just uh, I just don't like it. And 
Could you imagine, for example, in some classic westerns, you know, uh, say even True Grit with uh, Jeff Bridges or the original with John Wayne, could you imagine, you know, throwing that word in there once in a while? Fill your hand, you fucking son of a bitch. Uh, it just, it just wouldn't fly. Like, and it's not necessary. Even the, in, you know, classic lines in The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, could you imagine uh, Tuco when he said to, to Clint there about Angel Eyes, that Tuco wanted to take Angel Eyes out. And he says to Clint, Angel Eyes, he's mine. You know, could you imagine Angel Eyes, he's fucking mine. Like, it's just not necessary. It's just so not necessary. And even in, even in contemporary movies, I, I know that it's, it is nowadays, if you're doing dramas and that type of thing and, and realistic scenes, you know, with uh, modern day killers or whatever, or, or just everyday conversation, it, it's in there. And it's certainly more widely accepted because now it's gotten to the point where it's not realistic if you don't put it in there. But, um, I just don't like it, uh, and I, I, I keep away from it, uh, you know, swear words were common back in those days, and you can certainly get gritty and you can get violent, uh, as you need to with your historical fiction and that, but that word does not have to be in your vocabulary, in your, in your character's conversation. I've written uh, historical fiction. I don't have it published yet. Uh, I just got the word from my, pub my publisher that uh, he uh, says we should put it out. It's a uh, historical fiction set in 1976. And it's uh, set in San Diego, uh, right along the Mexican border there. And uh, it the, the main character is a 17-year-old kid, and uh, even then, when that, I know that word was prevalent because I was 16, 17 years old in the mid-70s, I don't have it in the book, and it's not necessary. So uh, that'll be coming out uh, maybe in a few months. I'm going to try to release that book next. When it does come out, I will give you a heads up, of course, on it. So, if you have any comments about this, I'd really like to hear from other writers uh, as to what they think about this and how they feel about putting the F word into their writing, in historical fiction especially. Uh, please leave a comment on this video, give me your ideas, what your thoughts are on it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Check, my, check out my website at jwcollinsauthor.com. You can have access to all my books that are there. I have a couple of free books as well too for free downloads you can, uh, you can check out. And uh, for now, let's just uh, leave it at that and leave the F word out of conversation. Huh? Fucking A. <laughs> Until the next time, have the best fucking day you can.